I'm a submarine expert, seven clues Titanic subs mangled wreckage will reveal. Including dodgy wiring and hidden cracks. A submarine expert has revealed seven clues the mangled wreckage from the doomed Titanic sub will reveal about the moment disaster struck. Dr. Jasper Graham Jones told The Sun many factors could be behind the catastrophic failure which claimed the lives of five men earlier this month. Ten pieces of the wrecked Titan sub were yesterday hauled ashore. And last night, the U.S. Coast Guard revealed human remains have been recovered in their search. Hamish Harding, Shahzada Dawood, and his son Suleiman Dawood all perished, along with Stockton Rush, the CEO of the company running the trip, and pilot Paul Henry Nargillette. Dr. Graham Jones, associate professor in mechanical and marine engineering at the University of Plymouth, revealed how miscalculations may have contributed to the disaster. Citing the viewing window on the sub, Graham Jones explained that it was not certified to go down reach the depths of the Titanic wreckage. He said, I think the guy who ran this was actually making big mistakes, and was overconfident in his calculations. Cracks would have formed. They might not have been seen at first, but they start to become a little bit bigger each time before becoming a critical crack and failing. Electrical Catastrophe Pipes and parts of the vessel that led outside could have begun to leak. This may have caused corrosion of some of the electronics controlling the submersible. He said, this could have been an electrical catastrophe. It could have been corrosion, it could have been a fire. Any leakage of water coming through to the electrics could lead to failure as well. Some of the pipes and parts that lead outside could have begun to leak. If you have a wire going outside, then those wires going through land could actually start to leak. They could have corroded. If there was a very minor leak, the passengers may have been aware of it, though the most likely case was instant implosion, due to the sonic bang heard by ships searching. The process of discovering a cause for the horrific incident will take a great deal of time as experts comb through the salvaged wreck. But Dr. Graham Jones said the photos released yesterday of the wreckage are identifiable. The expert said he could see casings for piping, along with the pipes, a floor structure, and electrical wiring. Tiny cracks and where they could be located. Dr. Graham Jones explained following the salvage of the wreck, investigators will begin to look for a cause of disaster in locations where cracks are usually found. Typically, he said, this could be at joints of the vessel and where the greatest flexing is occurring. But certain patterns of cracks on the vessel and their locations can signify what exactly went wrong, and when. Dr. Graham Jones said, the crack could be brittle, or ductile, and related to fatigue and delamination. By scanning under an electron microscope, you can see the fatigue and confirm the speed and direction of the cracks. Tiny grooves along Titan's surface. Striations in the surface could also could also tell experts how much time was between the first cracks formation and critical failure of the submarine. Striations refer to tiny grooves or cracks that run in parallel to each other. Dr. Graham Jones said, once a fatigue crack has initiated, it grows a small amount with each loading cycle, typically producing striations on some parts of fracture surfaces. Each striation shows the distance between each stress cycle and time to critical failure. Was there excessive heat on board the sub? Investigators looking at the mangled metal debris will also search for signs of excessive heating, corrosion, and buckling, he said. Dr. Graham Jones explained, has there been excessive heating, or corrosion, or buckling? Distortion of joints and fittings. But an issue investigators could face is differentiating between problems that were already on the submarine prior to its launch, and defects which formed on the vessel after implosion. Were there any defects from before sub went down? Dr. Graham Jones said, there are three timelines, before the incident, during the incident, and after the incident. Despite the confusion which investigators may sort through while looking at the salvaged wreck, the carbon fiber pieces should hold the answer, he said. He explained any pressure bulkheads, such as the polycarbonate windows or titanium and carbon fiber sections on the sub could signify the cause of disaster. These could have held microscopic cracks, which, when under high pressure, may have splintered and caused the implosion. Was there any wiring along the pressure bulkhead? 
Wires going through the pressure bulkhead hull could also hold the answer to why the craft failed. Wiring on board the vessel could have made the sub more susceptible to pressure damage if the wires were already corroded from a leak. Dr. Graham Jones said, it is critical to make sure they try and collect carefully so that no further damage is caused to collected parts. From visual and magnified views, components crack paths can be recorded. Typically, a map of all these crack paths this can be fixed to a few initial locations. From these initial locations possible failure causes can be suggested. The search and rescue operation for Titan, spanning 10,000 square miles, was wound down after debris was found last Thursday. The U.S. Coast Guard said two debris fields found 1,600 feet from the Titanic wreckage, which is 12,500 feet beneath the ocean. Included the 10-ton Titan's nose cone and front and back ends of its pressure hull. A deep-sea robot sub dropped onto the seabed by Horizon Arctic found the debris. U.S. Coast Guard Rear Admiral John Mauger said the find was consistent with the catastrophic loss of the pressure chamber. And tonight, the Coast Guard confirmed suspected human remains had been found. A spokesperson said, United States medical professionals will conduct a formal analysis of presumed human remains that have been carefully recovered within the wreckage at the site of the incident. Captain Jason Neubauer, chair of the Marine Board of Investigation, added. The evidence will provide investigators from several international jurisdictions with critical insights into the cause of this tragedy. There is still a substantial amount of work to be done to understand the factors that led to the catastrophic loss of the Titan and help ensure a similar tragedy does not occur again. Titanic Tourist Submarine